Before we begin today's read aloud, let's quickly review. A cycle is a sequence of events that repeats itself again and again. All living things pass through stages from birth to adult, called a life cycle. A plant's life cycle begins with a seed. A plant goes through the life cycle of a seed, a sprout, a seedling, an adult flower, and seed dispersal. Today's read aloud is the life cycle of a tree. We will learn today that germination is when a seed begins to grow. Say germination with me three times. Germination, germination, germination. Germination is the growing or sprouting of a seed. I like to make the connection that the word germination and the word grow both begin with the letter G. Germination is the very beginning of the life cycle of a plant. In today's read aloud, you will also hear that decomposers such as earthworm, bacteria, and fungi help to decompose dead trees. Say decomposers with me three times. Decomposers, decomposers, decomposers. Decomposers are things, are living things, that help break down dead plants and animals into small bits. To decompose means to break down into little pieces, usually returning to the soil. The Life Cycle of a Tree There are certain things on Earth that make life possible. We need water to live just as we need air to breathe. Have you ever thought about where the air you breathe comes from? The air you breathe is totally dependent on or supported by the existence of trees. Without trees, humans could not live on Earth. There are tens of thousands of different kinds of trees in the world. There's the towering sequoia trees and tiny dwarf willows. There are noble oaks and scented pines. All of these trees help make life on our planet possible. See, trees provide us with many things and perform tasks that you may not even be aware of. For example, trees provide us, humans, with oxygen to breathe. Trees also take in carbon dioxide through their leaves. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, meaning that if too much of it builds up in the Earth's atmosphere, our planet will heat up. Therefore, trees are important to helping manage the Earth's climate and keeping it livable for us. The roots of trees help fight erosion and flooding by holding soil and absorbing water from the soil. And finally, we use trees, or the wood that comes from trees, all over the world for all kinds of things. Can you think of three things that the wood from trees is used for? Let's review the different parts of the tree. 
Do you remember what the main stem of a tree is called? The main stem of a tree is called the trunk. All the branches grow out of the trunk. And then the leaves grow off the branches. The roots hold the tree in place in the ground. Roots also absorb water and nutrients from the soil. The water and nutrients travel up the roots to the trunk and into the branches. Do you know why leaves are such an important part of the tree? Leaves are important because they enable a tree to produce food. Another important part of the tree is the outside layer called the bark. The bark protects the tree from outside forces such as heat, cold, insects, or bacteria. Trees follow the same life cycle as other plants. Just like that of a flower, a tree's life cycle begins with a seed. Tree seeds can be as large as tennis balls or as tiny as freckles. They come in various shapes and sizes too. They can be smooth or bumpy or flat or long or thin. Tree seeds have three main parts. There is the embryo, or the egg, the stored food inside the egg, which enables the seed to grow and change, and a seed coat, which protects the seed, but eventually falls away. Germination is when a seed begins to grow or sprout. Certain conditions are required for germination to happen. We have learned that in the temperate regions of the world, where we live, the seasons affect the life cycle of living things, especially plants. Therefore, when it is warm enough, and there is enough direct sunlight, as well as water from the rain, the seed splits open and germination begins. This usually occurs in the spring when there is sufficient warmth and rain. Once germination begins, the seed produces a root that search, searches the ground for groundwater. As soon as they find water, the root holds fast in the ground and the stem begins to grow upward toward the sunlight. The tiny seed leaves open and use the sun and water to make food. The seed has now become a seedling or a young plant. Seedlings need just the amount of water, warmth, and sunshine to grow. With the right conditions, the seedlings develop into young trees with roots, a trunk, branches, and leaves. Young trees are called saplings. Can you say that word with me? Saplings. Tree saplings are much smaller than mature trees or adult trees. Usually trees are called saplings when they are between 3 and 15 years of age. A tree sapling's bark is smooth and the trunk is flexible, meaning it can bend more easily than it can in an adult tree. Once a tree is considered mature or an adult, it may flower and produce fruit, nuts, or cones. Some trees simply produce there are two types of trees. 
deciduous trees, and evergreen trees. Deciduous trees have wide, flat leaves, whereas evergreen leaves tend to be narrow and thin and needle-like. During cold winter months, deciduous trees drop their leaves and become inactive for winter, much like hibernating animals do in the wintertime. In fact, this is what keeps the tree alive during the coldest part of the year. To prepare for this time of rest, deciduous trees stop using their leaves to make food, and instead they shed or lose their leaves. Then, during their cold winter months, they save their energy until spring returns. In the spring, they will use their energy to make new leaves. Evergreen trees, on the other hand, shed or reproduce their leaves all year long. So there is always green leaves on an evergreen tree. The cones of an evergreen tree are its flowers. Unlike deciduous trees, evergreen leaves do not shed all their leaves in the fall. Instead, they use their leaves to make food all winter long. How long does it take for a tree to grow to full size? Well, this depends on a number of things. Different trees grow at different speeds. In tropical parts of the world, where there is constant sunshine and rainfall, a tree can become an adult in 30 years. But in the colder regions of the world, it can take 100 years or more. The length of a tree's life depends on many things. It will always depend upon the tree having enough sunshine and water, but other factors could affect its growth in life also. The condition of the soil that the tree is growing in and diseases such as insect infestations and bacteria can alter the natural lifespan of a tree. Accidents such as fire or natural disasters such as hurricanes and floods can have an effect too. Also, people cut down trees so that they can be used to make a variety of products. When a tree lives for a long time and then dies, it's not totally at the end of its journey. Decomposers like earthworms, bacteria, and fungi take over the dead tree. Through the decomposition process, they help slowly break down the tree into a rich nutrient that feeds the soil and enables a new tree to grow. And there you have it. That is the life cycle of a tree.